Hi, so this is my talk on maximizing developer experience with Backstage, an exploration of the power of Backstage plugins. Who am I? I am Devabrata, a community engineer at Harness. Uh, I have been a part of release team member for Kubernetes release of version 1.24 to 1.26, and I contribute to Kubernetes under C Contribux. Uh, this is a picture of me from last KubeCon where I was in person, and this, this time, uh, obviously, I'm in a virtual speaker. Uh, so in this talk, we will be covering on what is Backstage, what are the core components of Backstage and the highlight of this talk, the role of plugins and enhancing the developer experience through Backstage and some some learnings uh, that that you know, we had while developing uh, our Backstage plugins in Harness. So Backstage is an open platform for building developer portals, which was created at Spotify and donated to CNCF. Why Backstage? Uh, because it is backstage what essentially is a basically it's an open source developer portal uh which you know uh makes it easier for your developers or you know we could say it's a one-stop view for your developers for all the services they are using or all the uh apps or services toolings that you have taken subscription for your developers to help them uh you know develop your software so every uh developer portal is unique uh, even if they use backstage or some of the developer portals there are a lot of developer portals inside market which are either inspired by a backstage or are completely different from backstage uh but what is important is the requirement of developer portals because as as gartner uh, predicts by 2025 75 percent of orgs will have developer portals so what is a developer portal you know it's it's as i said it's a one front end for your entire infrastructure it unifies all your tooling services apps data and docs with a single consistent ui makes sense of everything in your ecosystem regardless of how and where individual components are running so let's develop a focus on what do the do the best develop, develop the software not you know uh, spending time on scribbling down uh, going to gcp checking the cluster logs and coming again to your grafana dashboard check your service service logs and all those things everything is available in a single place and you don't have to switch uh your uh you no know, switch to different tools uh, for the minimalistic information that you require why backstage because it is open sourced obviously the biggest selling point of backstage is it's open source and you could customize uh, your own backstage instance or the way you need to use backstage uh, so backstage has something uh, which has which are extensible plugin architecture which is customizable it is built with model to modern technologies and common frameworks like typescript react and makes it easy to develop for and contribute to your dev portal it is cloud agnostic and vendor neutral the software mo model contains something like core entities uh, and for each kind there are like service website library and there are some such certainly the relationship graphs and annotation what is this relationship graph is uh, basically when your developers come into your backstage portal they know uh, the service they own or they know a particular service which is owned by which team and or let's say an api is visible or an api so docs of api is visible inside backstage you could easily point out to the owners of that api or what all the dependencies of that api or a single service is running you could uh, give the relationship graph which is very important in the software model there are a lot of other core things which is you know out of scope of this talk but yeah you could explore it in backstage io slash docs so what is a plugin as we discussed earlier plugins are built to be extended and you know uh, or you could say plugins are built to extend the use case of backstage and customize for your particular infrastructure plugins are npm packages which is very important to understand why plugins are npm packages because uh, from usability point of view is you could develop your own plugin package it inside npm and pull it from npm whenever you require them inside your backstage instance there are certain kind of plugins which are called front-end plugins which are back-end plugins and there are core features uh, which are plugins too so see uh the way the backstage is built it's it's plugins surround the whole uh, usability of backstage software templates are a backstage which is a core uh, part of backstage functionality front-end and back-end plugins have different use cases and there are plugins like card-based plugins overview plugins service plugins but what is important uh, for us to understand here is let's say you have a uh, you are a service provider or you are a tool which provides uh, which is a product for developers to help it in their day-to-day -day life so you should think about uh, giving a user usability to backstage because developer portals are meant to make things easy for developers let's say they have a lot of uh, tools for that company has a lot of tools to uh, 
maintain their observability metrics and the company uses a cloud vendor you know for their all cloud related uh, cloud infrastructure related work so all this data could be visible in a single place if your cloud provider has a plugin and your observability tool that you use has a plugin so as a company it is for you to think around if you want to make sense for developers if you want yourself to be used to be useful for developers you should think about plugins or you should think about how you should uh, be useful in uh this whole backstage ecosystem and this is one of the usp of backstage it gives you the whole ownership of you know how do you want to develop things how do you want to put things in inside harness uh, we being a product for developers it's it's very essential for us uh, to be a part of uh, you know uh, all this uh, changes or, or all this you know trends that are upcoming to make things easier for developers so the developers are optimized and they their whole day is optimized and they're focused on what they do the best and software delivery life cycle is at its uh, at, at its best so we have we have some of our products like continuous integration continuous delivery ccm feature flags and all of these has a plugin some are work in progress some plugins have been published to open source and you could find them easily in our harness last backstage plugins repository so what advantage it gives us is some of our customers who are already using backstage could now use these plugins and help the developers get the minimalistic uh, data they require from these all tools to be visible to them in single page and we inside harness we use something called idp internal developer portal which you know uh, which is backstage as a service and we also plan to make it uh you know commercial open source commercial model but what is important here is to understand the way we adapted backstage because it was required not only by our customers but it also enhances the productivity of our own developers and while adapting to backstage we we also uh you know we also stumbled upon some of the use cases uh, that uh, was necessary for developers or that could help developers enhance uh, the way they use our tools. So it's a win-win situation when you try to inculcate uh, with developer experience through backstage, uh, you, you get ideas of features that needs to be there in your product essentially to help developers. So this has been quite a wonderful journey for us. It's a very short journey. Like, you know, it's been a few months only since we started with backstage inside harness, but yeah, the learning has been quite fulfilling for us and it has helped us to improve our own products and, you know, be more helpful to developer, which is the core, uh, essence of what we do at harness. So thank you. That's all.